is a Debo topic. He already blocked me once, so I can't get in trouble again. He posts <laughs> cryptic stuff all the time. And I love this about him because he's hella smart and he knows exactly what he's doing. So now he tells people that he's looking for real estate out in Miami. Realtors in Miami hit me up ASAP. Cool. Miami's a fun place to be. Uh, it's just that his, you know, coach Wes Welker just went out to Miami. I'm just, but I'm just saying. And then and then he has a little thing on Instagram about how upset he is about gas prices. That's a big thing in California right now and how he's going to get a Tesla. Of course, he doesn't say that this has anything to do with the 49ers or, or his contract negotiations, of course, because he's very smart. But he doesn't say what it's about either. What do you think it's about? No, nah, you know, he trains there in the offseason. So I, I think it's really about that. You know, look at guys like George Kittle. And there are a lot of guys, a lot of choose. When I was in the league, most of the guys, especially not the big name guys, they do stay in extended, uh, extended stay hotels and they had their crib back True. wherever they want their house at. You know, True. so a guy like Debo, he might have like a little apartment or, or a condo or whatever in Santa Clara, maybe live in Santana Row. But mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. I want my legit house like, where I go, where I spend time, where my family, I want that to be in Miami. And why That's wouldn't true. you if you can afford mm -hmm. that? Which clearly he's about to have an extension. He can afford anything he wants. So hell yeah. I mean, that would be my offseason house too. I want to train there. I heard mm -hmm. someone talk about him working with Trey Lance in the offseason. And I believe he said it or someone said it or whatever, but it was like, yeah, Trey Lance wants to work with me in the offseason. He got to come to Miami because that's where I'm going to be training. So, uh, you know, I think he's that. that's just where he wants to be in the offseason. I don't, I don't think it has to do with the coach. Yeah, I agree. And I don't think people realize how few 49ers actually live full time in California or the Bay Area. Like none of them. Probably maybe Jimmy. Although I don't know where Jimmy. I actually get the feeling that Jimmy's in Chicago a lot in the offseason. Uh, other than that, Kyle, It'd probably Kyle and John. That'd be, that'd be about it. Otherwise, like yeah. it's really expensive. You're not from there and it's not San Francisco or Oakland. It's the South Bay. People are like, mm, I'll just go back to Miami. Here's the thing with, here's what, what I want to say about Debo. I know he's not overtly making comments on the 49ers, but he's really smart. And what he does is puts out cryptic stuff on social media and doesn't say what it is and lets people interpret how they want. And he just sits back and smiles. And I love that. But I think Part of the people who are wondering are the 49ers when he's like, is he saying he doesn't like being here? Is he saying, like, you don't know. You just don't know. And you just play that game. What is he saying? And I he's wouldn't like being about there. It Listen, when I played for the San Jose Sabercats back in 2015, our apartment was like $2,500 a month. And that was back then. I'm like, what the hell is this? Like for the right. same place in Stockton is like $800. You know, mm -hmm. like, why is it so expensive here? I think these yeah. players, no matter how much money you have, you know, you you see that, and and you're getting taxed like crazy. Like, dude, yes. I want to I want to make Florida my residence. Don't they? I don't think yeah. they have state taxes in Florida. No, absolutely right? not. So it's like st no state taxes. If I'm gonna pay money for something, let me be on the beach somewhere with all these uh, Dominican women and all that. Hey, I, I've been to Miami once. It was for the Super Bowl, and the thing about it is, it's hella warm, and um, girls don't wear that much clothes because it's hella warm. Unlike the Bay. So I was like, damn, man, you girls are really not wearing But then what's crazy is at the moment's notice, like pouring rain for a good 90 seconds. And everyone's like, oh, my God, oh, my God. But then it's cool. It's like, oh, well, maybe you should prepare for that. So anyway, Miami's pretty fun. I liked it. Yeah. This that was my impression. Girls weather. in Miami. Oh, my God. Oh my. That's what happened. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, ah. See, in the Bay, we're always prepared for those things. Uh, Debo, I like his cryptic tweets. Although they're, it's more on Instagram. And he can't block me on Instagram because I'm not on Instagram. <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's 40 chess right there uh Debo is cool. i think you know there are some people that you know they he did put out a tweet about uh family or something and mm -hmm. or it was something along those lines the game and business side of things so maybe yeah. he's just kind of someone that's a deep thinker you know and i don't know so people can't tell like what's supposed to be deep and then what's not supposed to be deep you know I think he is a deep thinker. I think he's uh, really smart, and I think he likes messing with people. Let me put out something that's really not about anything and see how people interpret it. And now I'm going to learn about you. I'm going to learn about you, and I'm going to mess with you. I don't know. That's the Debo has this smile on his face all the time like he's got a secret. You know what I mean? Like he knows something <laughs> that no one else does. He's got this like – it's like, what do you know, Debo? What is it? Yeah. I think he's hella smart. He's been very good at managing his career. Apparently, he goes and talks to Kyle every day like they're friends. Smart. Hella yeah. smart. Hell is smart. I don't think Brandon Ayuk figured that out. I don't know if you ever will, but Debo figured it out. I'm gonna make the play caller my best friend. Nice. Yeah.
And he calls per him Kyle. P- he doesn't even call him coach. And he calls him Kyle. Per PFT, Dallas has Collins on the block. Would be a huge upgrade. Ooh. Lyle Ooh. Collins. Ooh. Yeah. Big upgrade. Yeah, if you didn't already pick up McGlinchey's fifth-year option, I think that makes things a lot difficult with that that. situation. Yeah. I think the Niners need to bring in someone as like McGlinchey insurance, but that's McGlinchey replacement. Speaking of Wagner, I feel like we have to make a push for him because there's a chance of him going to the Rams and hurting us like Stafford and OBJ. says Ezio Sanchez. I totally agree. I think that's what's happening here. Yeah, I mean, Wagner, OBJ, yeah, nah, this I mean, OBJ is still like really good. Wagner, I, I from what I hear, Wagner is kind of on the downslide a little bit. So. And the way that Kyle attacks linebackers is in, is in coverage. And I, Wagner's not going to be helping them in coverage. They did a good job stopping the Niners run game in the NFC Championship game. Yeah, he was great. Wagner was great in coverage coming out. I mean, one of the most athletic linebackers. But I don't think he's quite that anymore. Jay says Croc definitely was smoking the stickiest of the icky in Cali a few weeks back. If he thinks Reed only signs for three million per year, laugh my ass off five to seven. I mean, what's the? Was he great? I mean, I I, I legit don't know. I, I like DJ Reed. I'm a huge DJ difference Reed, though. He's he's been on my YouTube channel. Uh, he's I mean, we've been following each other since he was a rookie. Like DJ Reed, like you know, we message each other like all good. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly how well he played. Now I like what I saw in Seattle when I did watch him play, but. I don't know what his market is on the free agency. I just don't know. I don't know how much other teams are going to value him. I, I like I have no up, idea. Let me bring up his resume real quick before we move on. He's uh, 25. He started 14 games last year. He has four picks in his career, not a ton, but he gave up a 67 quarterback rating last year and a 75 the year before that. I don't know. I should four picks in his career. I th- I'm with Croc here. I don't think he's going to be too expensive. Right. I mean, like three, three million, four million a year. That was the first thing that came to my head. But I mean, you never know. Shoot, the Killer Witherspoon got a three million one year contract or whatever. Maybe DJ gets a little bit better than that. I think he showed a little bit more consistency than the Killer Witherspoon. Uh, Ryan says Debo enjoys the occasional offseason troll on Twitter. Great show, fellas. Yeah. And I do too. And that's why I can see, I feel like even though he blocked me, we have a little something in common. Like, oh, you're trolling us in a good way. And you're good at it. I like it. He says, oh, I wasn't talking about football. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that, too. I, I pulled that I pulled that on people yesterday. I, he, I, I took the picture of him uh, talking about realtors in Miami. I said, uh-oh, and everyone's like, oh, you're assuming that he's that he's mad at the Niners. So I'm like, no, you're assuming that. I'm assuming that he's mad at the Niners. I didn't say what I was saying. <laughs> I learned that from Debo. So, Debo, I'm taking plays out of your playbook. <laughs> 